Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scared Hopeful here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Jagdpanzer 38. The Jagdpanzer 38, also known as the Hetzer, does ordinance designation SDKFC 138-2 was a German light tank destroyer of the Second World War based on a modified Czechoslovakian Panzer 38 chassis. German forces of World War II create a variety of vehicles by mounting anti-tank guns on obsolete tank chassis. These machines performed even better than expected, yet were still vulnerable due to high vehicle profiles and open-top turrets. Allied bombings took a heavy toll on German production facilities and further increased the need for an easily produced yet, a hi yet highly effective light tank destroyer to replace vehicles like the Slug 3 and Martyr series. Prototypes of the Jagdpanzer were ready by 1944 and mass production began in April of that year. The Jagdpanzer 38 was covered entirely with sloped armor and possessed a compact form and low silhouette, giving it much improved defensive ability over other self-propelled guns. Armament consisted of a 75mm Pack 39L-48 gun and a fixed mounting as well as a remote-controlled MG34. It featured a wide body to accommodate the four-man crew as well as a strengthened lower hull with enlarged wheels, guide rollers, and tracks. The Panzer 38s first entered service in July 1944 and would eventually be assigned to a number of units including infantry, Panzer Jaeger, and Volksgrenadier divisions. Uh, the tank was a continuously uh, modified and improved and the uh, Jagdpanzer saw in production of more than 2,800 vehicles being built. Uh, the Jagdpanzer came to serve as Germany's main battle or main tank destroyer in the later periods of the war, making an important contribution on both the eastern and western fronts. So yeah, the Hetzer, a very iconic World War II German tank destroyer, uh, one of the tank destroyers that was kind of like the late war type designs. It was a highly effective tank, being able, being in, having a so low silhouette and a very capable gun on it, made it a very deadly threat and all that. So. Really interesting uh, build and really fun one, nonetheless. I did a Hetzer a very long time ago on the channel, so it's really nice to kind of come back and revisit this as it's been so long and the old design that was on this world was very outdated. So I'm really happy to redesign this and hopefully you guys are all in excited to get a nice redesign for it as well. Um, but yeah, anyways, it came out really good. As you can see, we have a nice tan color scheme on it this time around instead of the gray. And overall, I'm really happy with the build. Anyways, let's go and take a look at it before we go ahead and jump into the tutorial. So starting off with, we have the 75mm gun, uh, the front here with the driver's uh, viewport there. On top, we have the remote-controlled MG34, as well as all the little instruments, periscopes, and stuff like that for the crew. Uh, we got the tracks here on the side, pretty straightforward stuff there, and kind of some of the armor paneling along the side. And then on the back here, we have basically all the details, the, ex the exhaust, and a little viewport here on the back, and... That's pretty much about it. So it's a pretty straightforward tank, pretty small and all that. You can see the Panzer 38T that I have uh, designed, my new design for it, sitting right next to it. So you can kind of, you know, see the similarities between the two and all that stuff. But anyways, a really cool design and uh, definitely a nice redesign. Hopefully you guys all do enjoy it. Let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layers. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our first layers. We have layers zero for one. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go and place down a nerve brick slab like so, followed by a nerve brick top slab coming off the slab like that. After that's done, we're going to go and place down a stripped birchwood log like this, followed by a second stripped birchwood log. We're going to go and then place down a nether brick block in the ground like so. Continuing back, we're going to place down another birchwood log like this, and a second one like that. We're then going to place down a nerve brick slab and a nerve brick top slab like so. On the outside here, we're going to go and place down two birch buttons on those birchwood logs followed by item frames on those logs and smooth sandstone in them, like so. After that's all done, we're going to then go to this narrow brick slab here and place down a row of three of sandstone top slabs across, and back here we're going to go do the same thing, a row of three as well. We then want to fill in the space here with sandstone top slabs to completely close, uh, fill that whole space in. After that's done, we're going to then place down a narrow brick slab, followed by a narrow brick top slab coming off of it, and over here we're going to do the same thing we've done on the other side here for our road wheels. So again, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and kind of go a little bit faster here as I've already kind of covered on the other side there how to do it. And since it's completely symmetrical uh, on both sides there, we're going to don't need to explain it in detail twice. And then on the back here, we just want to place down a smooth sandstone top slab right there and a birchwood fence gate opened up on both sides of that top slab. Anyways, with that out of the way, that is going to pretty much wrap up what we have here for layer number so, uh, zero and one for the build. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number two. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer number two. 
For layer 2, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down another brick stair on top of these two narrow brick top slabs. From that, we want to go ahead and then place down a stripped birch wood log on its side, like this out to the side, a Bruce, or a birch wood button, item frame, and a cobweb in it, and same thing over here as well, just like that. After that's all done, we want to go ahead and then take our sandstone stairs, and we're going to place down a row of three of sandstone upside down stairs like that, followed by a row of three of sandstone full blocks directly behind it. We then want to place down another row of three of sandstone top slabs, narrow brick top slab to both sides. We're going to go and do the same thing again, followed by a second row. And uh, yeah, so we have a total of one, two, three rows so far, four, five, and six, like that going back. Now when we get to this point here, we're going to then place down a uh, letter brick top slab like this, followed by a narrow brick top slab again. We then want to place down one and two narrow brick slabs, and then a sandstone slab like that. We're going to then place down an item frame on the side here, with a cobweb in the item frame. And then we want to go ahead and take a birchwood sign, and we're going to place down a birchwood sign on this narrow brick slab, and this narrow brick top slab. And then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a birchwood trapdoor and place down a birchwood trapdoor on the sides here of these blocks. So, something like this. And also try to make sure that the trapdoors are facing the same way so that we have like the latch here on the bottom or the top, whichever way you want to do it. Um, but just kind of keeps it nicer there on the side. And then lastly, a nerve brick slab on this top slab here. And we're going to just go over to the other side here and do the same thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and, like I did before, go a little bit faster here since I've kind of already explained. Um, in detail kind of how to set this all up and if you need to you can just refer to the other side as the other side is exactly the same as this side. So it makes it pretty easy to go ahead and build on and we have our right side now done. Now in the back section here we're going to place down a smooth sandstone block there in the middle followed by a sandstone wall here to both sides and come off the sandstone walls we're going to place down some birchwood signs just like that. And come off the very middle sandstone block, we just want to place down a skeleton skull like so. After that's all done, that is going to complete layer number two for the build. Let's move on to layer number three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a birchwood trapdoor on top of these two narrow brick stairs. From that, we're going to place down a birchwood stair to both sides like this. And then coming off this stair here, we're going to place down a... Uh, Another sandstone stair followed by a sandstone corner stair, like so. Now on the right side here in this space between these two stairs, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone block, followed by a sandstone top slab, a second and a third top slab going forward, and then an air brick top slab there on the very end. On both sides of the sandstone top slab here, or sorry, just the one side on the inside here, we're going to place down a birchwood sign. After that's done, we're going to take our smooth sandstone, we're going to place down a row of three across, followed by a second row of three, a third row, a fourth row, and a fifth row, and a, even a sixth row of three of smooth sandstone blocks going back. Along the sides here, we're going to take our sandstone walls, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five, and over here, one, two, three, four, and five. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down an anvil, that's going to be over here on the right side, and over on the left side, we're going to be placing down a birchwood trap door. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of three of sandstone slabs across, followed by a oak wood slab to the side here, and a oak wood sign coming off the side of the slab. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of two of acacia wood slab top slabs like that, and a wither skeleton skull on both sides of that row. And then we're going to take acacia wood signs and place down a row of two of acacia wood slab, or signs come off those two slabs. Over here on the uh, other, or the right side here, on top of this narrow brick slab, we're just going to place down a birchwood trapdoor like that. And that right there, guys, is going to wrap up what we have for layer number three for the build. With that, let's move on to our next layer, layer number four. All right, guys, going ahead and move on to our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer 4 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a daylight detector on top of this sandstone top slab. Going back from it, we're going to place down a sandstone slab and then a sandstone full block like that to finish that off. With that done, we're going to then go to the other side or the left side here. We're going to go over to the left side with two sandstone stairs, a birchwood sign come off the front of the stair, an item frame, and a black bed. 
turned on its side like that for the viewport there. After that's complete, we're going to go and then take our sandstone blocks, we're going to place down a row of three across, followed by a second row of three, and then um, we're going to go and get to this section here, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone block on both sides there, and then in the middle space, we're going to place down a narrow brick uh, full block. After that, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab back, followed by a smooth sandstone slab there to both sides, like so. After that's all done, uh, we want to go and then also place down a wheeler skeleton skull here on the middle, sandstone block, and then over to the right side here, we're going to place down a black carpet piece and on this slab we're going to place down a item frame black bed in the item frame and a birchwood sign turned to the side there like so after that's done we also want to place down a birchwood fence post over here on top of this sandstone wall and then on the other side here we're going to place down a row of three of birchwood buttons and over here we're going to place down a row of four birchwood buttons and with that all complete, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number four of the build. With that, we're going to move into our final layers. Layers five, six, seven, eight. We're going to put the radio antenna and all the top details on top of the hole. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. All right, guys, moving into our last final layers, we have layers five through eight. For these layers, we go ahead and get started with here. We're going to place down a redstone repeater on top of this sandstone block here with the notches flicked out to the sides. And then coming off of it, we're going to crouch in there and place down a skeleton skull like that um, for the top there. After that, we want to go ahead and then place down another brick upside down stair on top of this block here. And then going back from it, we're going to place down a spruce wood upside down stair. And then a narrow brick top side coming off that stair going forward. Uh, coming off the, the uh, top side, we're going to place down a end rod, followed by a dark oak grid sign here over here to the left side. After that, uh, if you have the ability to, we're going to use barrier blocks. And we're going to go and delete this button and place down a barrier block. Now, if you, have bar if you don't have barrier blocks, just go ahead and disregard this step but in this uh on top of this barrier block we're going to place down a sign here at about a 45 degree angle so just like that and over here on this smooth sandstone block here we're going to place down the sign at a 45 degree angle as well the little gun shields here then on top of the nerve break up sound stair we're going to place down a red star peter not just flicked back and a stone button on top of that top slab Lastly, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab or one of the last features is we're going to go ahead and take our birchwood buttons. We're going to place down a row of four here along the right side. Actually, sorry, row of three. And then on top of this this birchwood uh, fence post here, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four end rods or iron bars going up like that. And once you have that all complete, that is going to wrap up my design for the Yay Panzer 38 Hetzer tank destroyer. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This may thing from the side of the build, coming to my channel or this video if this does appear on your social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for your free reserve for projects you guys are working on over on Enjoy the Build. Have fun fitting all that fun stuff. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2 4 and I'll see you guys next time.